There are eight words that will take you from here all the way through to eternity. Isaiah 49, 14 through 16. But Zion said, The Lord hath forsaken me, and my Lord hath forgotten me. Can a woman forget her suckling child, that she should not have compassion on the son of her womb? Yea, they may forget, yet I will not forget thee. Behold, I have graven thee upon the palms of my hands. Thy walls are continually before me. No matter what you are passing through and the intensity of the challenges surrounding your life, never believe the devil's deception that God has forgotten you. God is not a man that God can forget or abandon his children. Earthly fathers and earthly mothers can abandon their children, but not your heavenly father, but not the Lord your God. These are eight words that will take you from here all the way through to eternity. I will never leave you nor forsake you. This is the message from the Lord to you today. I will never leave you nor forsake you. I have not forgotten you. I will not overlook you. I am watching over you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. I need to repeat this one more time. I will never leave you nor forsake you. Abandoning people is not part of God's nature. Throughout the word of God, we see this phrase, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Deuteronomy 31.6 Be strong and of a good courage. Fear not, nor be afraid of them. For the Lord thy God, he it is that doth go with thee. He will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. Hebrews 13.5 Let your conversation be without covetousness, and be content with such things as you have. For he hath said, I will never leave thee, nor forsake thee. These are eight words that will take you from here all the way through to eternity. I will never leave you nor forsake you. God loves you. He does. But I sinned last night. But I keep sinning over and over again. Listen to me. The love of God for you has nothing to do with your performance. Too often people think that the love of God for them in their life is linked with their performance, but it is not. Right now, listen to me. God loves you. He does. He really does. The Bible says we should call unto God and he will answer us. Jeremiah 33, 30, call to me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things which you do not know. Don't go through that situation alone. Call unto him. Don't suffer in silence. Call unto him. God is a prayer answering God. He answered Jabez's prayer. He answered Hannah's prayer. He answered Daniel's prayer too. If God can answer the prayers of our patriarchs of old, he will definitely answer you too. God has not forgotten you. He knows about your current situation and he is working in ways that you cannot see. He will come through for you and make all things well. Never lose heart or give up on God. He never comes late into the affairs of those that fear and love him. God is always on time. Even when time runs out to you, time has not run out for God. God literally controls time. Don't worry. The Israelites complained that God had forsaken and forgotten them like many of us are thinking today. But God's response to them was compassionate. God responded to the Israelites with a great question and answered the question by himself. Can a woman forget her sucking child? Well, maybe women will help us answer such a question. But God said that even if a woman forgets her sucking child and fails to have compassion on it, He will never forget us. In order for us to understand how impossible it is for God to forget us, He said, Behold, 
I have graven thee upon the palms of my hands. Thy walls are continually before me. If God has graven you upon the palms of his hands, he can never forget you. In fact, the Bible describes us as the apple of God's eyes. That is, whatever happens to us concerns God too. God is jealous over your life. He loves you beyond your imagination. You could have challenges in your life, but they cannot disannul the fact that God does not fail. Your challenges are too infinitesimal to submerge God's boundless love for your life. In all honesty, our minds cannot fully comprehend the love of God. It can't. It's a pure love, a love that cannot be matched. Your husband or wife or children or parents may love you, but not like God. God knows everything about you. He knows even your bad decisions, your secrets, your bad attitude, every single one of your bad thoughts, and yet he still loves you. Hebrews 13.5 says, Let your conversation be without covetousness and be content with such things as you have. For he hath said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. God spoke by his own mouth that he will never leave nor forsake us. He has made a covenant to be with us and to help us and he does not fail. You may be facing hard times, but I want you to know that trials birth triumphs and tests birth testimonies. Your current situation will turn out to be the reason many will celebrate with you. That you are passing through a difficult season does not mean that God has forgotten you. Therefore, do not allow the devil to take advantage of your mind. The Israelites thought that the Lord had forsaken them. When they were faced with the Red Sea and the Egyptian hosts, they cried and complained as many of us would do. They didn't know that God had a plan. My brothers and sisters, God has plans for you. You may be faced with the Red Sea and the Egyptian hosts at the same time, but God has a plan for you. Exodus 14, 11 through 13 says, And they said unto Moses, Because there were no graves in Egypt, hast thou taken us away to die in the wilderness? Wherefore hast thou dealt thus with us, to carry us forth out of Egypt? Is not this the word that we did tell thee in Egypt, saying, Let us alone, that we may serve the Egyptians? For it had been better for us to serve the Egyptians than that we should die in the wilderness. And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will show to you today. For the Egyptians whom ye have seen today, you shall see them again no more forever. Like God proved himself to the Israelites, he will prove himself in your life. God deliberately took the Israelites through the Red Sea so that he can prove his power to them. Your challenge is God's springboard of working a miracle in your life. God has not forgotten you, and he will never Joseph was sold into slavery, and his brothers thought that was all about his destiny. God allowed Joseph to be sold into slavery. He allowed him to be wrongfully accused, and he allowed him to be thrown into prison because he had plans to accomplish in his life. While the brothers of Joseph were rejoicing that they were successful in their evil plans, heaven was rejoicing because God was working out the best of his plans for Joseph. It took 13 years for God to finally announce Joseph, and when God did, no one could denounce him. When God opens up his plan for your life, no one can stand against you. In fact, when God comes through for you, people will accept you where you have been rejected. They will appoint you where you were once disappointed. God knows what you are going through, and he has not forgotten you. Just keep trusting the Lord. No one ever trusts in God and ends up in shame. 
Just keep trusting the Lord. No one ever trusts God and ends up in shame. Psalm 34, 4-5 says, I sought the Lord, and He heard me, and delivered me from all my fears. They looked unto Him, and were lightened, and their faces were not ashamed. If you look up to God, you will never be ashamed. The Israelites looked up to Him at the Red Sea, and were not ashamed. Joseph looked up to Him, and was not ashamed. If you look to God, you will not be ashamed. God has not forgotten you. Your attitude towards Him should be positive.